Throughout his political and academic career, and since 2011 as our head of state, President Higgins has championed human rights, the arts, and a human-centered vision of economics. He has visited Italy on a number of occasions as president, and this is well reflected indeed in the fact that two of the speeches in his book published earlier this year, Reclaiming the European Street, were delivered in this country at the Irish College here in Rome and at the European University Institute in Florence. I'm so glad that while we have continued to live in the conditions of COVID-related constraints, that it has still proved possible for the ambassadors to be able to bring together small groups of great friends of the embassies of Ireland to Italy and the Holy See. And I think it is very good that we are, as it were, making a beginning to our emergence into what we hope will be easier and better conditions for you all. This is our first visit, Venus and mine, since the beginning of the coronavirus health emergency. And I'm very conscious uh, that it is to the country which has suffered the most in the European Union from the pandemic, particularly in the very early months last year, when we all witnessed tragic images of coffins of the diseased being moved by army trucks in Bergamo. And more recently, we will have seen scenes of fires and flooding in other parts of the country, and our hearts have gone out to those affected. The challenge for the future of Europe is to connect with the street, to show solidarity with all its citizens, sharing and communicating a vision for social Europe that involves no contradiction with what is valued as proximate or local. In its own way, this building, originally built in the 17th century, reflects the complexities of our shared European history and space. It was here in June 1849 that Garibaldi made a last stand against French troops who had come to the assistance of the papacy. Despite the defeat of the Italian forces on that occasion, it would not be very long, as we all know, before a unified Italian state emerged. A little down the aptly named Via Garibaldi beside this embassy lies the church of San Pietro de Montorio, which is the burial place of an early generation of Irish leaders, Hugh O'Neill and Rory O'Donnell, who had sought assistance from European powers of the day. Thank you. Grazie. at a time when we face not just great challenges, as is usual to say, but indeed interacting crises. This year's meeting of our forum discussed inter alia options for the future of the European Union in a post-pandemic world. We were able to touch on a wide range of important issues, and I think as we continue to address the pandemic, we must learn the lessons of living with an inadequate analysis and response to the financial crisis, 
and we must ensure that we connect with the European street, seeking to forge what is now an urgent needed connection between their consciousness of a needed connection between ecology, economics, ethics, and justice. And finally, we have, of course, I think as well, been in our discussions this afternoon addressing our failures, our failures in relation to the transmitted in and through vaccination, and particularly in relation to Africa, our neighbor. I think we have failed Africa, and we have to accept as well that what we should now must be doing is the need for pooling our technology and the transfer of capacity to protect from pandemics and the transfer of science and technology in a way that will enable our neighbours to achieve sustainability.
Io vorrei, io vorrei ringraziare I would like to thank you all questa visita al signor Presidente to thank the President for his visit. e anche vorrei dirvi I'd like to say to all of you, che non è stato solo il Presidente oggi a visitarmi it's not only the President today who's visited me. è stato un saggio but a wise man who has visited uno dei saggi di oggi one of the wise men of today Ringrazio Dio che l'Irlanda abbia un saggio alla testa. I thank God that Ireland has such a wise man at its head. Grazie tanto, signor Presidente.